everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for 3 p.m. Eastern, August 2nd, 2019. So many, and so much of humanity, um, are seeking financial wellness. But there is a discrepancy. As Buddha said, the secret of happiness lies in the mind's release from worldly ties. The secret of happiness lies in the mind's release from worldly ties. In order to have, you must let go. This is unfortunate for a lot of much of humanity because they're in situations where they, they're constantly wanting having, whether it's a piece of food, anything. And it's more in a desperation, obviously, because they, they just aren't aware that letting go brings in. When you hold on to things, worldly ties, you block the universal flow of unending abundance and prosperity. And the majority of people in this, on this planet, in this world, could, they, they don't realize that the universe is a magical, intelligent, and abundant playground. So they don't view it that way. They, they think that source, let's just look at that source. And source is a constant flow of all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. But if you, or any human, any, anybody on this planet, holds on or tries to covet, it usually will disappear or be gone. Most people are blinded by limiting thoughts and feelings around wealth. And these beliefs distract them from being open, loving, and appreciative for what they do have and tapping into the abundant source that is available. It, it is this addiction to desire, to constantly wanting this or that, and not getting the ego's needs met, which eventually creates the lacking stuck feeling on the inside with later manifest, which later manifest into their bank account in the outer, other, outer world. Consciously or unconsciously, everyone is, is creating their financial situation every day. And we are either in the habit of proclaiming to the universe that we are lacking and there is not enough or we are being thankful and appreciative for everything that we do have. Once you see that your thoughts are creating each and every moment of reality, any previous cycle of financial stuckness can dissolve instantly from your life. This is a fact. It's a fact. But the minute you move into worry, stress, and fear, Worry, stress, fear, worry, stress, fear. Okay? You let go through the heart mind. The heart mind is the master, remember. We're talking about the mind. The mind is, is useful, but not as the boss. Okay? You control over the mind. So you let go. And you don't... When you start desiring, I mean, wanting, wanting, desiring, desiring, it becomes 
almost a futile energy because it's like you grab for it and it's pulled away, you grab for it, it's pulled away, it's grab for it, it's pulled away. But when you let go and you say, okay, I put this out and I leave it alone and I keep going forward and you don't visit it, you don't need to. That's all it takes, see? We, you know, people are taught all of this gobbledygook, all of this stuff. Oh, you got to do this, 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 you got to do this. And it's just, that's, that work. People say, well, you know, you have to want food and, and desire this. And, yeah, that's understandable. But you just say, I will have food. And believe it, or, and if you do it from the heart mind, you will somehow, somehow, food will be delivered to you. Access to it. It's the same with water. But see, people, humans are so compressed and so controlled in their thought processes that the ego and the mind comes in and says, oh, that's stupid. You know, you're sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. How in the heck are you going to have any food or water? See? You see the thinking. You see the process there. Pulls us completely away from who and what we are. It happens all the time. Majority of the time is what this is how it happens. See, humanity has been taught in a slave matrix. They have been controlled in a slave matrix. They have been lied to from the beginning. So they, it, it, it's like it, it's like you're, you're told all this stuff, and then you you come out into another uh, world, and you, you you start looking around, and go, oh, I was told this, this, this. Well, that was all wrong. It was all lie. Here's the paradise. You know, there's the garbage heap you came from. And and we know there's a lot of people on the planet that that, that want or desire or in need of nutritious food, water. I mean, I get letters all the time. And and this is this is it. What you think about is what you get. It is that simple. If you visualize that, and this is, here's the tricky part. If you visualize the end of the month is going to be tough and feel, and feel a squeeze happening there, you are literally creating a future financial crunch. You're doing it. You are. And may suddenly feel more stressed, hurried, and serious about life, which happens. It's, 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 it's a snowball effect. If you are only looking into your future, feeling a sense of abundance with a deep, calm, serene energy, you'd manifest a very abundant, joyful life. That's, that's absolute. We always create situations which mirror the consciousness of where we are at. We always create situations which mirror the consciousness of where we're at. Whatever the mind dwells upon is what we manifest. So, example, what happens when you you start thinking, okay? We start, we start thinking. And what happens when we start thinking, right? You're in a stressful situation, your finances are like really low, and you start worrying. You start stressing and fearing. Where does that come from? It comes from the mind. The mind dictates to the heart mind. So you get that emotional upheaval, anxiety, stress, insecurity from the standpoint of, I don't have, I don't have. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna get this? How am I gonna be able to eat? How am I gonna, you know, and, and it just catapults. It just, it just snowballs. And guess what? you create more of the same, right? Now here's the dangerous part, we've been talking about this. You also will go in the past, reflect on things, troubling times, situations where you've had to you know, make ends meet and that type of thing. You bring it into the future, you create your future. And it repeats itself over and over and over again. This is where a lot of people get in this cycle and it just goes through their entire life. Yeah, there's a couple of bright spots that they're, you know, they're subconsciously not aware of that comes in and, and things and, and good things happen. But then they have the, the, the mind and ego come and say, "Oh no, it's, it's not going to last. It's going to go away, and you're, you know, it's going to be the same old, same old." Every human, every one of us in a civilization, this planet, 
are vastly, astronomically abundant. Isn't it ironic that the matrix controllers have convinced humanity that they're the opposite? Stop 
feeling like a mouse and relax like a lion. You can surrender into the feeling that you are enough. Then you can see how futile it is to chase the ego as it runs after the next big piece of cheese that fell on the floor. There's a true message there, okay? Then you can see how futile it is to chase the ego as it runs after the next big piece of cheese that fell on the floor. See the perfection and the seeming imperfection that seems to be. See the perfection and the seeming imperfection that seems to be. Lester Levinson. And on the path to awakening, you may come to see that the ego has been pulling the wool over your eyes for a very long time. The ego wants you to believe that there is something in this outer world that will truly and permanently satisfy you. A large amount of money, a new house, car, lover, new soulmate, or even that new hairstyle will make you feel fulfilled. The truth is, you will feel good for a short time, yet later, you are ensnared again into coming back for more. The endless cycle of thinking we will be fulfilled by the next desire is one of the most misleading, addictive, and tricky traps to work around. Be aware. The mind definitely has its agenda and it will have its way with you unless you are vigilant with it. When you see that financial poverty and financial freedom are two very powerful spiritual experiences, then you become free from both of them. When you aren't attached to or resisting either side, you are simply at peace with your situation as it is. Abundance is our natural state, natural state, which becomes reality in our lives naturally when we realize how deeply interconnected we truly are to the God source. When you realize that you are not separate from anything or anyone in this world, You've taken the first step into financial enlightenment through living with the knowing that you are connected to everyone in this world. You begin overflowing with energy, potentially, and abundance, potentiality and abundance again. And when you start thinking, feeling, and vibrating like a spiritual millionaire, billionaire, you will become one. The key is to be in a constant state of gratitude knowing you are connect to an infinite source at the core. You can restrain your brain to be free from never having enough money. Reprogram your mind to practice feeling abundant and financially free. It can be tough to break these old patterns, but you can do it. And you, all of you, are natural from the get-go, massively abundant beings. That's the true core. That's from source. That is your God. Why do you think they call it the kingdom of God inside you? It is all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, including all the abundance, prosperity, everything. But the majority of humanity becomes a prisoner to its ego and mind. And the name of this meditation is wealth. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted. And I'm sure most of you are. And you're going to want to breathe. And you're going to want to relax. And your first step is to move into the now. You move into the now, this is the step where you let go of the future and the past. You don't think ahead, you don't think behind. You're only in the now. This focus is a mandatory step for us to always be in the now. And as we move into the now, we begin to relax the body, the shoulders drop, the stress is alleviated, anxiety fades away. We are in peace and we are in the now. And we are deeply, deeply, deeply grateful and the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. Always. And you're in the now. 
let go of all external attachments permanently. You free yourself in the now. As you're relaxing, as you are focused in the now, you're going to want to breathe. And you want to breathe through the nose and you want to exhale out the mouth. And you want to do this at least six times while I'm talking. And as you breathe in through the nose, you hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And then you exhale. And you're going to want to do this at least six times while I'm talking. And also, why do we hold our breath and our breathing? For those of you who are new, we hold our breath because it focuses us on the now. You see, the breath is only in the now. It's never in the future. It's never in the past. It's only in the now. Do people say, well, how do I stay in the now? By focusing on your breathing. It's a very simple step. It literally pulls you center and it causes you to focus on your breathing, which is the now. You're not thinking into the future. You're not thinking into the past. You're not thinking about this into the future or this into the past. You're just in the now and you're focused on your breathing, which keeps you in the now. And most of us shallow breathe because we take our breathing for granted and we breathe uh, only 16 to 18% oxygen. And it's just not good for our bodies. Now, as we breathe in, we're breathing in divine positive energy. And what is divine positive energy? It is purely from source. It is from the collective consciousnesses of the universe. It's from prime source, creator God, mother, father, God. It's from everyone. Whatever name that these source energies function with. We are all a family. And the divine positive energy communicates to our God within. And it reminds us to be aware and clear that we are free that we have let go of all of our attachments and all of our worldly wants and desires. And that we are infinitely, infinitely, infinitely abundant. When we stand in our own ways, we turn the flow, that constant stream from source, off because we drop below it. Fearing, worrying, and wanting will do nothing but create more fearing, wanting, and wondering. And since, since we've all been habitualized in this forever, we must now focus on the now. And we must raise our vibrational frequencies to the flow of source where our true abundance has always been. And once you achieve this on a consistent path, and you are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes, all of the wealth and abundance and everything that you could ever desire will flow continuously, unending, forever. As soon as you are tricked into the lower frequencies, it will be turned off, and your struggle will continue with yourself, your ego, and your mind. This is the message. You exhale. You're exhaling all of the doubts, all of the things that the mind and the ego are trying to convince you of that no, 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 you're supposed to follow us. You know? If you have a billion, that's not enough. You need two billion. No, then two billion is not enough. You need three billion. You need more, 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 more. This is the ego. Identify it. Understand.
and what it means this is the direct communication as you exhale of your awareness from your core your higher self your God in the now what we do is we fold in to our heart mind this is where we are the master and commander this is where our easy chair is we float above the heart up into the throat area effortlessly we're in the now we're in constant now source creation uh, wave and frequency is literally flooding us consistently constantly we are infinitely abundant infinitely wealthy but yet we do not covet it we do not covet that which we are we express and we flow and it is natural and there is no conflict we turn and we are immediately merged with our God when we go within when we go within into the heart mind we are in the kingdom of God we merge with the kingdom of God with the God mind we are one this planet becomes a paradise how does it become a paradise because you are in the infinite flow of abundance peace joy happiness and wealth and tranquility with source that which you are of you cannot be anything else but that you're the heaven on the earth you're the bliss the joy the peace where do you think it comes from it comes from all of you all of us you're the peace you're the joy you're the bliss you're the abundance you're the wealth you're the prosperity this is what you're made of this is how it's created by moving your frequency to the highest high and connecting back with the source frequency the rest is history you are in the now this planet becomes a paradise as it should be it was always meant to be We find ourselves immediately encased in perfect spheres of total protection 24/7. These spheres are made up of our essence, pieces, multitude of lights, colors. Some of them are the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael, the white fire, purple transmuting flame, the violet blue purple flaming light of Archangel Michael, the violet ray the golden white pink light of prime source creator god mother father god source deep eternal love deep 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 gratitude the only thing that can penetrate the sphere is more deep eternal love we are free We flow with great abundance, prosperity, happiness, and joy. High health, high youth. This is what our this is what we truly are. You know it to be true. You feel it in your heart mind. hand in hand we form our circle of light this light 
hovers around the equator of this planet Earth. Many names, Gaia, Heracrista. But we enshroud it with our gods. We saturate its atmosphere, its oceans, its, its, its surface, its interior. We embrace it. We flourish it. It is completely protected, continuously being infused and saturated with the highest high of the deep eternal love, peace, joy, happiness. You can see the multi uh, spectrum of lights and colors flickering and glittering through the atmosphere, through all life. Or we're all one. And as we begin to float up above the planet, we float up in lightness, effortlessly. And as we do, we immediately call out to the other parts of us, the other pieces of source, the other kingdoms of God, all of the light energy beings who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love, who are in generosity, peace, joy, benevolence, tranquility, humbleness, kindness, and in deep, deep, deep gratitude. And they are in all universes, all densities, all dimensions, all existences, outside of the room of creation and beyond. And they come in the Google plexus. They fill the universe. They're interconnected, interlinked, arm in arm, hand in hand, and they join us. We are elated. We are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes as they are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. We are all one. And we are all love. And our light expands. We call upon all of the archangels, all of the cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all of the angels, all of the civilizations, they have assisted this civilization for eons in kindness, joy, peace, happiness, love, generosity. They are of the deepest, highest eternal love from the deepest, highest eternal love. And they come in the trillions, arm in arm, hand in hand, and they join us. They flock in. And they are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes as we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. We are always in gratitude, infinitely. And we are all one, and we are all love. And our light expands. We call upon the ascended masters, those who have ascended out of body, those who have escaped the matrix, those who have continued to take the risk to continue to assist this civilization and this planet. Too many to name all. They are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in joy, peace, generosity, the highest of high abundance and prosperity, tranquility, and they come in the trillions, and they are some, just to name a few, Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Ganesh, Lakshmi, Buddha, St. Germain, Sananda Jesus, El Moria, Abadantia,
and many, many, many more. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude of gratitudes, and we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes, and they join us arm in arm, hand in hand, and they come in massive numbers, trillions upon trillions from all sectors of all existence, all that there ever has been, ever will be, and ever is. We are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. We are all one, and we are all love in our light expanse. We call upon all of the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, Garta, beneath earth, all the civilizations who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love, who are in the highest of benevolence, joy, peace, prosperity, generosity, kindness, humbleness, and they come in the billions, and they join us arm in arm, hand in hand, and they are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes, and we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes, and we are all one and we are all love, and our light expands. We call upon all of the galactics and off-worlders who are only of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love, who are in generosity, kindness, benevolence, and peace, who are humble. They have been assisting us in our evolution, in our enlightenment, our ascension, and freeing ourselves from our self-imposed bondage and slavery. And they come in the billions. And they are the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. as it must be. And they are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes as we are in the deepest, deepest of gratitudes. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they merge with us. We are all love. We are all one in our light expanse. We call upon all of our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this life and all lives that we've inhabited. They are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in generosity, peace, kindness, benevolence, great abundance, wealth, prosperity, always in the highest high. They join us, arm in arm, hand in hand. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes, as we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. And we all are one, and we all are love. And our light expands. We call upon all the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on and in this planet and this now. They are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in generosity, peace, kindness, abundance, wealth, prosperity. And they come in the trillions, colors, sizes, shapes, forms that we've never laid eyes on before. Fairies, sprites, elves, gnomes, dwarves, trees, elementals, air, earth, fire, water. Mermaids, the dolphins, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, and many, many, many more 
and they come in the trillions. And they join us arm in arm, hand in hand. And we are all one. And we are all love. And we are all abundance. And we are all wealth. And we are all prosperity. And we are all of the highest health. And our light expands. We look up, we see our meditative sphere that we created. This sphere sets center circle. It can be seen, heard, and felt in all dimensions, existences, densities, universes, and beyond the ribbon of creation. It saturates the sacredness of space. It literally converts low frequencies into the highest high of the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes and love. It is its mission to saturate and flood this entire universe with the highest, deepest, eternal love. We can feel it as it floods our heads, saturates our bodies inside and out, and saturates and floods our God. We are filled with the understanding that we are the masters and commanders, that we are infinite, abundant, wealthy, prosperous, healthy existences, that we are the kingdom of God, that we are the God. That we elevate our frequencies into the highest high as we're flooded with our, with our sphere into the highest of pieces, benevolence, letting go of our worldly attachments and embracing the joy that we are, the abundance that we are, the prosperity and wealth that we are, the high health that we are, leaving behind the incessant chattering of the ego and the mind who have tried to take center stage and control over our heart minds, which can no longer be done. They are loved, but they are in the back seat. We look down upon the planet, we see all of our brothers and sisters. We see all life, all the light, glittering and sparkling, shimmering and reflecting. Deep eternal love, billions of gods, billions of the kingdom of God, all as we view them, lifting them into the higher frequencies of source. They too, letting go of their worldly attachments, moving in to the joy, abundance, wealth, prosperity, high health, that they are, always have been, and always will be. We see them being flushed free of the debris of this matrix, flushed free of the debris of the ego and the mind. And we are all one, and we are all love, and our light continues to expand. I'll join you in the meditation. I'll return to close this out.
very important for us to really embrace that we are pure love, that we do not hold back love, and that we understand real love does not play games. It doesn't hide, manipulate, or try to control love. Real love doesn't try to teach the other lessons. We must learn how to let go and give all the love that we have inside today. Not tomorrow, not next week. We just don't know if tomorrow, while we're in these bodies, will come. So we pour forth our love and share your deepest appreciation for this will heal you and it will heal all those around you. It might be just a few words of simple authentic gratitude from your heart. Just let them know sincerely what their heart and soul means to you. Your job is to go beyond fear and experience the deep vulnerability that comes with taking the risk to break free from your epic prison, your egoic prison, every day. Because the day will definitely come when this human relationship ends and you meet the 10,000 or so archangels who are all behind you, cheering you on to love more every step of the way. And let your life be magical today and tell everybody how much you care. Take it with you throughout the rest of this day, evening and night, following morning. We will have a fireside chat call tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. We are going to be addressing in detail the 5G and other topics that we should be aware of. All in the lightness and deepest eternal love deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes, and we'll return here at 3 p.m. Eastern, August 3rd, 2019.